your history, you know that the Lewis and Clark expedition began in the beautiful American city of St. Louis. Wait, what? Come with me back in time, 1803. According to the National Park Service, Meriwether Lewis started that famous expedition not at Fort Fayette in Pittsburgh, but St. Louis. To that, Pittsburghers respectfully say, nah. -uh. In 1803, Meriwether Lewis built the keel boat right up there about where the convention center is. That was Fort Fayette. In August of 1803, he loaded up his men, his dog, all of his equipment. Andy Masick from the Senator John Hines History Center says Lewis only made it to Bruno's Island that first day. They got stuck 500 yards down river. Before they got to McKee's Rocks, Lewis had to unload the keel boat and drag it with ropes over the sandbars. Reenactor John McNulty says the National Park Service studied this issue. They are close to making a recommendation to Congress. Let them know online if you think the official Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail should extend the length of the Ohio River to Pittsburgh. You say we support the, the conclusion that Pittsburgh is the logical beginning because we are competing with a lot of other communities that were not included, like Harpers Ferry, Monticello, their, their voice is behind this. They're screaming about this, that they weren't included in the official trail. Need more proof? And if you read the journals of Lewis and Clark, just go to page one. Said, left Pittsburgh today, got stuck, put the men to bed after giving them a dram of whiskey. You now have a say in history. Your voices will be counted, will be heard. Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, so if you want to register your opinion with the National Park Service, we have a link on the ONTV tab of WTA.com, and it's in our mobile app. Just fill out the form. You have to do it, though, before Friday, September 30th. Clock is ticking. <laughs>